Wait, so was he trying to casually date and you were all oh, in? Oh, yeah, girl. Anyways, long story short, it wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated oh. him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, that'll the, do it. He was the bad boy, too. Like, Matthew's so sweet and Southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the the backup was the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it, it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm because athletes lived in the same dorm. And he would see my car there. And so at one point, he, like, waited and, fought, and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Stop. Uh, and he was like, like, this is so hot. I was like, this is amazing. It's working. <laughs> yeah. I was get out of my car and he was like, I don't, he's not right for you. And I was like, who, you know what? You can't. What is going on, guys? As y'all saw from the beginning of the video, yes. We are, you heard, you heard that story precisely correct. Before the video gets started, bro, I got to let y'all know, like, stop stars. Whoever, if you, if you're thinking about starting a podcast, don't do it. Like, I'm so sick of these podcasts. Like, I'll be on TikTok scrolling and podcast after podcast clip podcast after podcast clip like everyone in the world feels like what they have to say is very important or people want to hear what they want to say when it's best you shut the fuck up like like just shut up like it's so easy to just be the fuck quiet like not everyone can be a content creator like this this, this job or this field isn't for everybody and i feel like people don't know that they just I don't know what is wrong with people nowadays. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Like, get you a, a job or something. Like, no one, you know, whatever you have to say isn't important. Because a lot of y'all be on hopping on these podcasts saying dumbass shit. Like, just shut up. Like, just, just shut up. Like, what you have to say is not important. But on this Matthew Stafford tip, you've been with this man since his Georgia days. And the story you wanted to tell on a podcast, which I don't think you need to be on because you don't need money. So even if you did get paid, you didn't need the money. Um, you didn't. All, all this is for attention. And, and that this is quite obvious. This, all of this, the story you told was for strictly attention and to embarrass your husband. You've been with this dude since his Georgia days. And the story you chose to tell was you pretty much cucking this nigga. You cucked Matthew Stafford. You hop on a podcast years later, you tell the story, now Matthew Stafford looks like a dummy. And granted, Matthew Stafford probably doesn't care because the dude's net worth is about $70 million. I think he, I don't know if he's still on a contract with the, with the Rams or whatnot, but <laughs> he's rich as fuck. So any of these pendants, they probably don't phase him because, bro, he made it. But out of every story you chose to tell, after the years you've been spending your life with this man, you chose a story of you pretty much professionally cucking this man, making him look like a like a like a desperate loser cuck. And I find it crazy, Matthew Stafford, that she was fucking the back up and you hop in her car and say he's not good for you. So shit, that's that's already crazy in itself. <laughs> the bop that won, the bop that got away. Like I don't I don't want to call her that, no disrespect, but it's like. That's what it was given, like, the, the whole podcast clip, the whole thing, it was given very much uh, Bob and East. So, out of every story you can tell, that's what you tell. Like, in chat, I've seen what the backup, the alleged backup she was talking about when she was, per, when I was thinking of bad boy, I was thinking maybe like a uh, six foot five black nigga with uh, dredge or whatnot, uh -huh. but it's this nigga. Bro, this nigga looks, that ass looks like the dude from Bully. And if that's bad boy, because the nigga from Bully, that was a bad ass little kid. So I guess if that's her definition of a bad boy, that's a, he's bad looking too. Like he's bad, he's terribly looking. If that's who she was talking about, like who she was fucking on. And then Matthew Stafford, uh, all in all, this, this was bad. This was a bad look. Not only, not for Matthew Stafford. Because she doesn't give a fuck. It was a bad look for you. Because I don't know why you would go on a podcast and pick the most embarrassing story to embarrass your partner. Like this is this is a story that you that y'all should take to the grave. Uh, you should you should have took this story to the grave. Like this is not not something you tell, especially with the kind of reputation or the position. Because you guys are a famous like Matthew Stafford. He's very famous in America. Like he's a famous QB. So you. I know there's a ton of other stories you can tell about your husband. Like, there's other things you can tell this podcast besides them 
this one to make him look bad for attention. I don't know why people do that. I don't know why athletes' families do this because this isn't just a Matthew Stafford thing. A lot of athletes' family members hop on podcasts and just say dumb shit all the time. Like, I don't get why for. Like, just shut up. Like, like I said before in the beginning of the video, some people shouldn't have a podcast or shouldn't be on a podcast. It's, it's just better if you shut the fuck up. Like, it was better if you just shut the hell up and didn't say nothing, but you chose to get attention or you wanted attention, attention seeking, because this is really what you did it for, and it's quite sad and embarrassing. I just couldn't embarrass my partner like that. I couldn't do that to my partner because I love her and I cherish her, and I I cherish her, I like her reputation and how she's seen, so I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize how she's looked. And I feel like that should be every all couples, but I guess some people's morals are different than others. She hopped on a podcast to say that dumbass shit, and shit, I guess. Whatever floats her boat. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I might be late to this news, but I had to drop a video on it. I had to get my thoughts out, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out.